Hey guys, Brandon here. This morning been working on uh, getting the terrain, well, the track elevation, the gradient correct in the back bay area. The document that I have that was given to me by a buddy of mine uh, that shows the track elevations, it's not accurate for this tunnel and I'm guessing it's because of lack of GPS signal and stuff. So um, had to do some of my own research uh, looking at a video that I got from another friend of mine and uh, I think I got a pretty accurate and good, decent compromise so I'm gonna show that to you guys now I smoothed it all out and it looks really good so uh, here we go I'm just gonna get the train up to speed real quick This is pretty much the speed that a train would be coming into the tunnel. At this point it starts leveling out and then it goes back up again a little bit not as steep as the incline we just went down but um, still has to go back up to get above sea level Now naturally this is all underground, and it will be underground once I do the decoration again. Alright, so let's do that run again. This time I'll zoom in the camera on the locomotive so you guys can see the terrain better. Uh, I think the gradient percentage maxed out at one and a half percent going down that hill which is about what I expected We'd be entering the tunnel now, going into, well, going underneath Massachusetts Avenue, under the uh, Southwest Corridor Park. Oops, that looks weird. All right, so now, just to test the other direction, I want to um, start a train at Back Bay and then go up the hill. We'll
We'll just play it as if we're leaving the station normally. Don't worry about that hill in the way, way distant background. That's uh, over past Ruggles, and I haven't really messed with the terrain too much at that end. Whoa, I didn't anticipate that bump. I gotta smooth that out more, I guess. And this is the part where I stopped messing with the terrain. Um, yeah, so that's what I got going right now. Got the decline into the back bay tunnels and then a slow incline back up into the station and above sea level and then we get into cove interlocking which is pretty much uh, consistently about a foot above sea level according to the document I have all right if you guys got any questions about how I did any, any of this just uh, just let me know Oh, by the way, this is what it looks like when you smooth all the gradients. Those are all the parts that are smoothed. That big bump that we encountered, I guess it was right here. Yeah, it was right there. I didn't smooth out this section. That's why we got that big bump. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys.